Musically, I think probably I sing a little bit differently now than when I first started. I, I never really thought of myself as a singer. Um, when I first got started, it was just something I needed to do because I wrote songs all of a sudden, and so I just felt like I, but I never really like owned it, and I feel like I'm more comfortable now. I did this cover song of It's a Wonderful Life. I feel like that's my favorite one on the record. And what about, I know you also did a cover of Girls Just Wanna Have Fun mm -hmm. and This Woman's Work. Mm -hmm. Why those two? Well, the Cindy Lauper one started out as a exercise, really. I never really intended to put it out. Um, I was driving home one day when I still lived in San Diego and that song came on the radio and I listened to the lyrics for the very first time and I'm like, oh, I think this is, this is a sad song actually and no one knows it. Um, and so just as an exercise, really, I went home and, you know, recorded this version of it um, to try to like show a spotlight on the lyrics. And then I showed it to a few people and they, they were like, oh, you have to release this. And it was never, I, I never intended it to be out there in the world. so. It was one of those happy accidents. Um, and this woman's work, my manager actually sent it to me. And she's like, I think you should cover this song. There's, there's this thing that happens with, like, especially some of the really, really sad songs, like High and Low, or um, that one in particular. Because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in a great place these days. And when I wrote that song, I was you know, obviously not doing so good. But I still have to sing it, you know, these days and um, make it believable. So it becomes a song about where I was and not where I am. Okay. Um, so I try, I have little creative tricks that I play on myself when I perform it. What's it like being married to another artist? Oh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it's easy in many ways because we both understand each other and we both understand what, you know, it's like to be on the road and um, but then it's also hard because we're we're both apart more than normal couples. We we were watching Damage, a show called Damages, and uh, and I had forgotten that my song was in it, and we were watching it on Netflix. So we were you know watching it like watching. yeah like eight at a time, um, and my song came on one, and I and it was funny because I I just said this to someone yesterday. I, it came on, and my initial thought was oh God, I, I hate this song. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh wait, that's mine. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this song. I, I, my thought was like, oh, this song again. Who is this? And then my wife was like, that's your song. <laughs> Someone actually told me, and I would, I, maybe, maybe I should have listened to it. I, I don't know if I should have listened to it or not, but he told, one of my mentors told me, don't write in the moment, wait for the, whatever you're going through to pass and then write about it. And I didn't do that. I always just wrote immediately. Um, and so I always wonder about that, if I had, had actually listened to that advice. Does, I wonder how different my music would be, you know? But I guess it's neither here nor there. I've already done it, so. <laughs> but it's something to consider for other artists. Yeah, it's definitely been a journey.